Ken is Yacht Maintenance. Today is the day I'm going to be painting the hat top of my Jeep Wrangler with all grip. Uh, the hat top of this Jeep Wrangler 2011 is fiberglass. It's a fiberglass hat top. So I sanded it and today I'm going to shoot some primer, 545 all grip primer on this hat top. I got it all prepped already. I got the rest of the vehicle covered down. It's inside of my shop. I got a ladder on either side of the vehicle. And I'm gonna use 545 white primer. White base primer. And the reason for that is I think white is going to make a big difference in the temperature of the vehicle. It's going to help cool down the temperature because the top coat is going to be uh, a charcoal color. I'm going to mix black, all grip black, jet black with mediums uh, not medium but silver so i'm gonna do a combination of super jet black all grip probably 20 percent 25 percent super jet black to 75 percent silver and after that i'm gonna use um high gloss clear over it and give it a nice shine so with this 70 75 percent silver 30 percent or 25 percent uh, jet super jet black it's gonna give me a charcoal color and um, I think it's gonna be a good blend with the color of this Jeep is green so it's gonna be a nice blend. So yeah, I'm gonna use all grip to paint the rooftop of my 2011 Jeep Wrangler. And um, first step is to prime it, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So yeah, can is your maintenance. I'll keep you posted with the results. Okay, so just finished getting a coat of primer, white, all grip 545 primer on the rooftop of my Jeep Wrangler. So I got two coats on. And it was all sprayed on with the Fuji. My old faithful Fuji Q3. This one stays in the shop. So during the week, in my spare time after work, I could sand it. It's a nice easy sand since it was sprayed on. And um, get it ready for the top coat. And again, I chose white. White primer. Normally for a dark color, we would use gray 
545 primer but I chose white because I think it's um, gonna help cool down the temperature of the paint you know black gets really hot black attracts the heat and absorb all that heat and although I'm mixing it with um, silver all that helps to um, cool down the paint when packed out in the sun all right so I will give you an update Ken is your maintenance KYM Uh. Yeah, today we sand in the primer of um the Jeep Wrangler and um, I'm using 220 sandpaper um, I could use 320 grid sandpaper but um, it's my Jeep and uh, I'm gonna give it gloss anyway so it's gonna be shiny so I'm using 220 grid sandpaper I'm using this northern sandpaper very good sandpaper I get it from Jamestown distributors and um, I'm doing hand sanding so I could get all the corners and um, I'm using this for dust mask so we still in the Virgin Island we still had to get dust masks at the Home Depot so I'm using those for now I'm just doubling it easier to do it by hand so I could get between all the grooves I could use a machine but then I end up burning out Okay, I'll come back and show you the results after I get it sanded and um, sometime tomorrow I will shoot some paint on there. So until then, adios. Now it's time for some good soap and water. Always important to give it your surface a good wash down.
after that, um, I'll just inspect the roof and if there's any little pinholes, I will use the acrylic 60. Where is the acrylic 60? Um, and I will fill all the little pinholes. I got it somewhere, acrylic 60. After that, there's no need to prime over the acrylic 60. The uh, all grip will stick to the acrylic 60. And that's just your little pinholes, little imperfections. So um, I think my surface is pretty good. And sometime tomorrow, I will paint. Today is Sunday and Sunday afternoon. Guess what? We Sunday afternoon is for drones. That's just one of my many FPV drones. So we're going to have a little fun today. Until then, adios. Yeah, I think I misspoke. I meant the white glazing putty. This putty is used for filling pinholes and small scratches. You cannot use it for anything large, anything big. It doesn't really have strength to it. It's really just for filling scratches and pinholes. So that's what I meant. All right. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be spraying the rooftop of my 2011 Jeep Wrangler. It's all prepped. Sanded, prep, washed down and um, wiped down already. Tack rag, everything. And I'm um, ready to go. I got my respirator. And um, I got the eyes. I goggle here. So, safety first.
Okay, I'll come back and um, show you the completion. Trying to keep the video short. So just finished getting a two coats of all grip on my rooftop. And that's just the two coats without clay. So the next step I'll go let it sit for a few minutes, probably half an hour. And then I will give it another two coats of clay. So I get it covered pretty good. Yeah, it covered pretty good. And this is like a charcoal color mixing all grip super jet black 25% and all grip silver 75%. And that's the color I came up with. And it's gonna shine a whole lot more when I put the two coats of clay. So stay tuned. All right, we're back. I um, got two coats of clay over the um, top coat, all grip clay. And um, I had lunch. I still got some more in my cup. I'm like, why not? give it a third coat so that's what I'm gonna do it's been sitting for about 30 minutes and um, I'm gonna give it one more coat of clay and just use up what I got in my cup so
trying to keep the video short so I'll show you the completion all right folks we're back this is the completion of the paint job on my 2011 Jeep Rockland Wrangler so here we go Very good blend with the green, charcoal and green. Yeah, yeah, Jim and I, Jim's a surfer and I used to be a surfer, so we have a lot of things in common there, except Jim still surfs and I live in the middle of America, so there's no waves here, so I quit surfing. There you do a wave pool. Yeah, I, 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 there's just no way. It's not trying to, I think I lived here two years before I finally sold my surfboard and realized I wasn't going to need it. But Jim, I want to get into Bitcoin. I want to get into Bitcoin and boomers. Tell me, what in your mind and your way of saying it, what is Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin is the newest form of money on the planet. That's what I would say. And uh, I care about it because money is broken. Very good blame. I like it. Uh, money used to be something that was not controlled by one group of people, but was agreed to by all of society. And uh, that changed, and governments took control of money. And now it's broken. It, it, it doesn't work the way it's meant to work as a price signal for uh, for exchange between different people, different goods, over uh, periods of time. So uh, Bitcoin was invented to fix the broken money, in my opinion, and I think it works pretty well to do that. And it's been... Uh, for 40 years of its uh, worldwide adoption. I think over time it could be the world's money. Well, when you say money is broken, can you give me an example of that? Uh, so, money is a tool uh, to communicate value between different people. And um, if you look at the history of money, you go way back, you realize that people would want to exchange things of value with each other. So, yeah. You know, a lot of times people ask, can you use all grip to paint a car? And the answer is yes, you can. Um, obviously, all grip is made specifically for boats. But um, this rooftop is a fiberglass rooftop. It's a hot top. And I figure, why not use all grip to paint it? It's um, both paint, solid paint, durable. Why not? So, there we go. All grip. I got two coats of um, base, all grip base. And as I said, I mixed Super Jet Black with silver. 75% silver and 25% Super Jet Black. And I got this charcoal color. And then I gave it three coats of clay, all grip clay, over it. So, yeah, all grip, high gloss clay. So, yeah, here we go. I'm probably the only person of Saint, in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, who has a rooftop, hot top painted with all grip. Um, hey, it's all good, it's and hey, it's gonna last. Uh, uh, the prep was done very well. Sand, the whole idea is to prep well. Sand, prime, paint. And um, if you were to do that, usually people use a lot of wax on their cars. One step you got to do before doing all that stuff is to de-wax the surface. And um, there's many different things you could use to remove wax. Uh, acetone will remove wax. Lacatina will remove wax. All Grip sells a special product called um, Wax Remover. 
and I use that most of the time on my surface to remove wax before you paint but um, there's other product that would do the same thing soap and water is also good to wash your surface before painting but yes you can use all grip I had a Suzuki psychic that I just sold uh, a week ago and during um, COVID in April I had so much time on my hand needed something to do and I just sanded the roof and um, the hood and painted it with all grip and uh, came out pretty good so even over car paint I put all grip over car paint and there was no reaction um, it held up pretty good so yes you can use all grip on automobiles Ken is Yacht Maintenance again, located in St. Thomas Virgin Islands. Um, come see us this season. I think we're going to have another good season in spite of everything. Um, we do all the all grip work. We are um, local distributor as well. So for all the all grip products, uh, we have a lot in stock. Whatever we don't have in stock, we will get it for you within a week. And um, so, give us a call. We are on Facebook, Kenny's Yacht Maintenance. And um, just showing off my Jeep Wrangler. Another happy project. Until then, keep on keeping on. Tribute to the great Wayne Faxman Adams. Keep on keeping on.